change your mindset. Should I take a man back who left due to his insecurities of being able to provide? Um, uh, you only take, well, let me put it this way. Um, you only take back what God has for you. Like if there are certain circumstantial, uh, situations where, or a thing that happened between you and a gentleman and y'all just going through life and y'all just broke up or whatever, but you know, for a fact, that's God's one for you, then of course you could take that person back, but you got to always assess, is this who's, is this person sent by God? Is this person God's man for me? Right. Um, because uh, uh, everybody has insecurities. I'm sure there's going to be some insecurities that rise in me when I have children because I never had children before. Um, uh, there were some insecurities in my heart that rose when I uh, when I first got married because I never been a husband before. So insecurities are going to rise, but you should let insecurities ride. So there's going to be some moments where fear arise and insecurities arise because things are unfamiliar. But the more you become familiar with God and you allow the familiarity of God to saturate as far as your fellowship with him become your norm and become your aura and become your climate and become your environment, then when when you face those moments, you'll be strengthened. One thing that the Holy Spirit encouraged me in regards to me being a, 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 a husband or a father, he was telling me, he says, I'm omnipresent. The spirit of God is omnipresent. He is he is all encompassing, meaning that God has filled up my entire past. He has filled up the whole uh, area of my present and his fullness has filled up already in my future. Meaning as I approach my every day, he already been there. He's already right now. God is already in my future. So I can pull on that moment when I get to that moment, knowing that his joy is my strength, that he is the one that strengthened me. Therefore, I can go forward. Now, if he just went through a moment where he just felt insecure because he genuinely wanted to provide for you, but he just didn't feel like that you will give him a chance or he just felt like, man, I, I just don't feel like a man. Then I understand that. But it doesn't matter what because a person can be a full provider and be great with money. But that's not God's honey for you. Right. He's not your honey just because he makes good money or a good steward over. So you have to always go all the way back um, to God's confirmation of a thing. That's why I'm so glad that God confirmed my wife. It doesn't matter what strife. It doesn't matter what happens with us in between our lives, I know that God confirmed her. Therefore, I keep a firm grip on her because I know there's confirmation in her. And maybe uh, 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 what I know that God has confirmed in the past, I can have hope and joy for the future because God sees it all, right? So to get to your question specifically, if he's struggling with insecurities and he wants to come back in your life, um, you got to consult the Lord over your life who is God and say, hey, God, is this the one that's for me? Because oftentimes we'll, God will open opportunities for you to be not with someone. And then all of a sudden our empathy for that one brings that one back in. And that wasn't that, and that person wasn't the one from the beginning. So check with God family. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to engage more content, make sure you check out the videos over here. If you want to learn more about the books that I've written or the cards that I've created or ways that you can support and engage with what I do online, make sure you check out the links in the description box below. And if you've been watching this far, you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell, and make sure you leave a comment. I would love to read it and would love to engage and be your coach online. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.